Uh, good evening, beautiful people. Uh, thank you for coming back, watching another exciting uh, video with Brian. Um, let's see, let's see what we can make today. So for the base, I am going to use this um, blue, very very blue, uh, that I mixed with a bunch of black. So it's kind of a mm, midnight. Blue, I don't know how dark it is. Uh, then I've got some satin enamel white and some iridescent white. Haven't used that for a little while. And then I have uh, my Amsterdam pearl blue and pearl violets. Uh, <clears throat> and we're just going to see what the heck we can make here. So I'm just going to pour a bunch of this. In the middle here. I see I didn't mix it terribly well. That's okay. And uh, we're just going to layer these for fun. Put a little bit of this blue in between. The fun thing about using these uh, especially the pearl colors, is you don't know what color you're going to end up with until it dries. So, that's always fun. Because right now, it just looks like a bunch of white. But, that is not what it will end up like. So... Ah, darn it. Having some struggles today. Hot one outside here in uh, sunny southern Wisconsin. So it's nice to be able to be inside where it's cooler and, uh, and not have to worry about getting overheated. I had somebody at work yesterday. Uh, have to get taken um, in an ambulance so um, getting overheated is not a not a joke this person wasn't even working outside I'm not I don't know for sure what he was doing but it'll it'll sneak up on you if you're not prepared so if you're gonna be outside when it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, make sure you have some water, wear a hat, big old hat, cover your head. Um, you know, wear a bandana or something to help you out because you don't want to, you don't want to have to go to the hospital for something like heat stroke, which is mostly avoidable. Unless you just have to be out there and it's not your not your fault, so Alright, so I should have mentioned um that this was using glue. Um not um flow troll. So getting these weird cells just from Paints and mixing together. All right, so next we are going to go with the old torch. 
see what we got here. Pop some bubbles. All right, now let's stretch this out and see what we got. something in there. So the longer I wait, the more interesting things this is going to do. So let's uh, torch this a bit. Oops, drip some paint there. That's okay. All right, so we'll check back on this in a little bit and see if we get something interesting. All right. So a little time has passed, and so it opens up some interesting things. Uh, the glue kind of didn't hold some of this together, so it doesn't look as good as it could, but it's still interesting. So there we go. Thank you. Bye.